in this screencast video lecture we are going to see about the parasites that are commonly affecting the human system the word parasite is composed of two greek words para meaning besides and cytos meaning food in simple words it means eating beside one another parasites can be defined as a group of species that live at the expense of another species that serve as a host so they are both biologically and economically connected throughout their life cycles the association between the parasites and host are referred by a special term called as a parasitism next we look at into what are the types of parasites that have been existing parasites can be grouped into two groups one as a endoparasites another one as a ectoparasites endo means parasites that are present inside that is living inside the body of the host mainly for the food such parasites do not have special organ for their digestion as they are already feeding on a highly digested food classical example here is a tapeworm that lives inside the body the next one is ectoparasites it the name itself implies that the parasites that have been living external to the surface of the host body here comes the classical examples of the ticks lice as well as the flea which are all example for the external parasites or ectoparasites the life cycle of the parasites can be categorized into two sub parts one as a monogenetic parasites and another one as a digenetic parasites what is meaning for monogenetic monogenetic parasites are those that have only a single host during their entire life cycle whereas digenetic parasites are those parasites which require two different hosts during their entire life cycle the two hosts are commonly referred as a primary host and a secondary host or sometimes the secondary host is also referred as a vector the primary host is the one in which the parasites ancestor species have been evolved and the secondary or the vector hosts are those that are mainly acting as a transmitting agent the transmission could be of a cyclical or mechanical transmission sometimes apart from the primary and secondary host there is a presence of reservoir host is also found associated there commonly with the parasitic diseases in general there are three classes of parasites that are capable of causing the diseases in human this includes protozoan certain helminthes worms and the last one is a ectoparasites so protozoans are single celled organism that can multiply inside the humans these parasites can spread through contaminated food and water say for example previously we have seen one example of the entamoeba entamoeba histolytica is a example for a protozoa that is capable of causing infection these parasites can easily spread through the contaminated food and water sometimes even a person to person contact can also able to spread them even insect bites have been associated there with the spreading of the protozoa very classical example is the plasmodium malariae that is a protozoa that can able to cause the malaria disease it can be easily transmitted with the help of mosquitoes the next group of parasitic infection refers to helminthes helminthes infections are those that have been caused by parasitic worms which usually lives in your digestive tract that is in the intestine they can able to lay the eggs there and that eggs can able to form into the small hatched worms that can multiply inside the human body and they can able to eventually pass there into the human feces so again they will reach the soil system from there they can able to contaminate two important helminth parasites are common one is a tapeworm which is technically referred as a ascaris lumbricoides another one is a hookworm which is technically referred as a ancyclostoma duodenal and the last group is the ectoparasites so these are the organism as we already seen they are living outside to the body this includes ticks fleas as well as the lice next we look at the parasitic disease that are commonly caused by the infections of the protozoa say for example malaria which is caused by the biting of the mosquitoes the trypanosomiasis is a kind of a disease which is referred as a african sleeping sickness or african trypanosomiasis which is commonly caused by the transmission through the sissy fly 
and the next one is a trichomoniasis and leishmaniasis leishmaniasis is again caused by a uh, protozoa that is leishmania danovani whereas it is transmitted with the help of the sand flies the parasitic disease that can be caused by helminth that is the worm infections mainly includes roundworm tapeworms as well as filaria the roundworm and tapeworm infection generally leads to abdominal pain diarrhea nausea gas forming and blotting even certain unexplained body weight losses could occur abdominal pain as well as tenderness are all again the symptoms of this particular worm infections next the list of parasitic diseases that are actually transmitted through ticks fleas as well as lice include relapsing fever as well as the hemorrhagic fever relapsing fever are mainly results in the formation of a high fever headache as well as the muscle pains whereas hemorrhagic fever is the one which can be caused by certain viruses also that may be transmitted by this particular vectors they can able to affect the cardiovascular system and damage tiny blood carrying vessels